Hey, Harvard hockey fans. Thank you for tuning into part two of our journey to the Frozen Four and National Championship. I hope you enjoy hearing from my former teammates, Haley, Sammy, and Mie, as they share their firsthand experiences about our incredible run, which capped off one of the greatest seasons in Harvard women's ice hockey history. You know, can you guys talk a little bit about what, what it felt like to, to know, Sammy, for you to go back to your hometown to Minnesota to play in the Frozen Four and play for this national championship that we knew all season we were going to be able to play for? Yeah, it's hard to put into words. Um, I just remember as that clock wound down, we beat QPAC 5 nothing to go to that Frozen Four in Minneapolis. And um, as that clock wound down, I was sitting next to one of my teammates, Hillary Crow, who's also from Minnesota. And um, we just both started crying. Um, <laughs> it was so emotional for us to know that, you know, we've worked this hard for the last four years. And, you know, we hadn't won a national championship. We hadn't even gotten to a national championship game yet. But we um, we were going back to our hometown to fight for a national championship with our best friends. Um, the team that we had always dreamt of playing for. And um, it was pretty surreal and unlike anything we've ever experienced. And, um, you know, and then getting to Minneapolis was was extremely special. Um, a lot of people up to that time, that weekend, um, especially my, our teammates always questioned why we lived there. Um, <laughs> no one really knew anything of it other than hockey and lakes. And um, so it's pretty special. We got to take people, you know, to our houses and, um, and show them around a little bit of where we grew up. And then obviously the hockey piece of it just added a, a completely different element. Um, and it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, we could go on for hours about the memories we created. For the women uh, every year, the national championship is uh, the, the, the second weekend of spring break. So every single year, you know, our whole team, nobody makes plans. You know, everybody's like, okay, we're going, you know, we're going to be busy that week. We're going to have practice. We're going to be going to the frozen four. Um, and uh, and so you know that to actually be in the rink that week, um, you know, after you know disappointments the the prior two years, um, the energy just in that lead up to the flight to Minneapolis was so electric, um, and you know nobody had to <laughs> had to pump each other up or anything. Everybody was absolutely flying <laughs> in practice. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and so like Sammy said, we finally get there and, um, you know, if people's families had flown out and, and you know, we we get off the bus for our first practice. We had a practice, uh, you know, maybe the Thursday before um, in Minneapolis and our families are lined up uh, to leading us out of the bus into the rink for practice. Um, and, uh, you know, With your boppers, we, they were like yeah, noise exactly. makers. And <laughs> um, and and you know for harvard hockey we we have the luxury of having an amazing lounge and a, a you know formerly the blue line room now the boynton lounge um where we really get to know each other's families and it's it's really not just the players who are really special to us and so to have all of you know and, and a lot of people are from far away so you don't usually get everybody everybody's family there at the same time um so to have that you know as we're getting off the bus for practices in each game um, that's something also I'll never, I'll never forget is, um, is like how warm and supported we all felt and, and, uh, just like the love, uh, that, that came with us to Minneapolis. Yeah. So I think we get to the frozen four and we know we're about to play BC in the semifinals of the national championship, um, weekend. So that for us was a huge, you know, we, at this point we're one and one now we had a championship, they blew us out kind of what what mindset did we all have going into that game and sort of how did that game play out in your guys' opinion? Um, I think, you know, I think at that point it's a wash, you know, it's, it's, we're back to square um, with these guys, but we know that we can beat them. Um, and now more than ever, it means a lot. Um, winner goes on to the national championship game and oh my gosh, like who, what, like to me, his point earlier, like we had gotten so close so many times to even get to the frozen four, but now that we're there, Okay, let's let's not just like throw it all away now. Let's beat BC because we know we can and then go and play either Minnesota or Wisconsin. And um, that was our mentality. And um, I have to give a shout out to our goalie, Emerson Smashmeyer. Um, she absolutely stood on her head against that game. BC gave us everything they possibly had. Um, I think they were shooting from the red line. They were just. And they had a lot. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. They were. I mean, 
some of the best goal scorers in the country were on that team. Um, I think they were getting, you know, 90% of their shots and Emran stood on her head and, you know, we battled in front of her, of course, and we're able to get, um, you know, enough goals to pull ahead. But um, I think you, you have to acknowledge Em and her performance in that game. Absolutely. Yeah, so just a, another shout out to Emerin. Um, She had 43 shots that game and let in one goal. And um, so I think the, you know, looking at how different our shots were um, against BC, Emerin truly pulled that game out for us. Um, and we just all kind of were like, inspired by her play. And um, I think that also helped us like lead into the national championship game because we wanted to play for Emerin now. Like she had played for us that game. Yeah. I saw the way Emerin was playing. Uh, we haven't talked much about Emirates up until this point, but it, it, she's an absolutely incredible hockey player. Hopefully, uh, you know, soon to be a Canadian Olympian. And, um, you know, the whole season she was our backbone. Um, and the season before, we leaned on her a little bit, maybe too much. Uh, and so, you know, the 2015 season, we had a lot, a lot of firepower in front of her, but she was so reliable. And that game in particular, you know, I, I, would, I would say, you know, she, she stole it really. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, I just, I, I, even from the stands, I knew we were going to win. Uh, so headed into, into the championship game with Minnesota, um, we were all pretty, pretty pumped up. So anyways, it was a hard fought battle against BC and we were, and we ended up beating them. Um, and it was an incredible feeling, um, a feel, a feeling of relief. Um, me, I know, uh, had a little bit of a, a different story. Um, unfortunately, a penalty took her out of that game early. And so we fought for her as well. And um, we ended up winning and gave her another chance to fight with us for that national championship game. Um, but we come flying into the, the ch national championship game. We're playing University of Minnesota at the University of Minnesota. It's a sold out crowd. I think for me, that was the most um, memorable part of that game was just the crowd. You know, um, up until that point, we'd never had a, a, a sold out crowd, never mind standing room only. And um, on top of that, just the Minnesota crazy fans are they're so into hockey that it made the environment so much fun. I remember specifically like when we would do, have a good play, the crowd would be like, ooh, ah. And so there was even energy for when we were playing well. And I remember that being um, the, the most memorable part of this game. But for you guys, what was the most memorable part? And um, if you want to walk through a little bit about how that game went. Whew. Um, well, I mean, I think the starting lineup was probably the, I, I just see it super clearly because it was the only moment before the puck drops where you can actually just kind of like take it in and appreciate uh, all of the energy that's in the, in the building um, and take a second and just acknowledge how cool this is uh, before, you know, the puck drops and, and you're in it. And like, there's no, there's no thinking about it anymore. Um, but I just remember, you know, the lights are off. The Minnesota fans have like all this, all these like cheers going on. They, they're they all coordinated. They know what they're doing. They've done this before. Um, you know, Sammy probably grew up going to Ritter, but it was my first time seeing a Minnesota game. So honestly, I was, I was kind of, <laughs> I was kind of impressed. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, you know, once the puck dropped, it was, um, it was just, it was just awesome to play, you know, two awesome teams uh, playing their last game of the season. Um, it, it's, I've never, uh, in, in college, I, I obviously never had that opportunity before um, to know that this was my last game uh, of the season. And this was the last game I was going to play with the people uh, who were standing next to me on that goal line um, during a starting lineup. And, um, you know, it was just, you know, Obviously, it wasn't the result we wanted, but it was, um, you know, a, a, a memory that I just am so grateful to have. And uh, and especially, you know, to have with you two and, uh, and, and all of our teammates, uh, we'll always get to think back and, like, talk about it and reminisce. Um, uh, hopefully not think about too many what ifs, but uh, <laughs> or if onlys rather. But um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was an incredible experience, needless to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I already kind of touched on, you know, the experience of it, but um, yeah, of course the outcome wasn't what we wanted, um, but you really can't dwell on that. Um, to play for a national championship is um, pretty impressive and pretty incredible either way. 
Um, you know, Minnesota, we talked about BC a lot, but Minnesota was just as good. Um, I mean, just so deep, every single line um, from every forward line to their deep pairing to their goalie were top players in the country. Um, and I, no disrespect to us, we were too, um, absolutely, but they were a powerhouse and um, I have the utmost respect for them. And, um, you know, they took it to us that game. I finally rewatched it, um, gosh, probably two years later. And, um, you know, because when you're in those games and you're losing and you, you kind of forget about the little details. And I went back and watched and we were right there with them for the majority of the game. Um, you know, Emirates came up with some big saves again for us right at the beginning to, that kept us in there. And then we kept firing back. And, um, you know, they they snuck a couple in before we could get one on the board, which which kind of, you know, deflated us a little bit. But other than that, I mean, again, you can't dwell on it. Um, it was an incredible experience to be able to play for a national championship in front of, you know, what was technically kind of a home crowd for me as well. Um, and for to do it alongside of my best friends um, that have been my best friends for, um, you know, at least one year for Haley, having been a freshman. And then, you know, my classmates who I'd been there for with their with them for at least four years. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have traded anything other than, you know, maybe coming out with a win. But um, even after we lost, we still created some incredible memories as, you know, as we got on that bus and um, we left and we're hugging our families and we're, we're, you know, celebrating the season as a whole with our families and those people around us who have supported us throughout our entire season. Um, it was it was unlike anything I've ever experienced and something that I am so grateful to have done um, alongside of these guys. And so I know we're honored to be able to rehash it and share with, uh, um, you know, the Harvard hockey family and fans, our personal experiences going through all of that. I think that wraps up the season really nicely. Um, thank you so much, Sammy and Mie for joining today. I think it's always special to talk about HH for all of us. Um, and it really reminds us just how much, uh, just how special really our HH family is and how much tradition and memories there are. Um, I think obviously this season that we just recapped was something that was beyond incredible. So it was really special to relive some of those memories with the both of you today and with the Harvard Hockey family as well who's watching. Um, Harvard Hockey family, we'd like to thank you so much for all the support over the years and the continued support in the future. Um, we hope you're all staying well and we really hope to see you soon at the Bright Landry. Um, until then, um, best of luck in, in all that you're doing.